Hello, I'm Paul Weston. Now, no matter where you are in the Western world, a great health crime is ongoing, which is made possible only by the, the total corruption of all Western health agencies. And as you may have noticed, people are dying left, right and centre. Some countries are seeing a 10% rise in excess deaths. Uh, that's compared to the five-year average. Others are seeing up to 20%. Uh, but one thing that all the countries have in common is the inexplicable behaviour of their national health agencies, which refuse to recognise that excess deaths are happening at all. And in England and Wales, for example, 85,000 people died over the last two months. Uh, compared to the five-year average of 74,000. So this is 11,000 deaths above average. And perhaps more astonishingly, it's also 12,000 more deaths uh, than those that occurred in the Great Plague Year of 2020. And that's over the exact same two-month period, which saw only 73,000 deaths. And if anything, this number is now accelerating as well. And that's happening in the summer, no less, when it shouldn't really be happening at all. And over the last four weeks we've seen 43,000 deaths compared to the five-year average of 36,000 and just 35,000 in the Great Plague year of 2020, uh, which is all a little odd, you'd think. Now this data won't come as much of a surprise to people who watch videos such as this, but the majority of people are completely unaware of how truly extraordinary these figures are. If we break last month's data down into two weeks, we have an excess 2,000 deaths per week. Uh, that's compared to both the five-year average and, astonishingly, uh, unbelievably, and tell me I'm not going mad, to 2020, uh, which, as I may have mentioned, uh, was the year of the great plague stalking the land, um, along with bodies littering the streets because the mortuaries could no longer cope. Yet we hear next to nothing about this year's excess deaths, which is absolutely mind-boggling, not to mention utterly criminal. Now, here is an example of what was in the news on July the 30th, 2020. Screaming death and disaster at us. But fast forward two years, uh, add an extra 2,000 deaths per week, and we hear nothing at all. Now, I don't need to say it, but I'll say it anyway. This just ain't normal. And the very worst thing about this, though, is the reaction of the health agencies, which exist, as they repeatedly tell us, to keep us safe. Now, take the World Health Organization, for example, and have a gander at their website. Monkeypox is all they talk about. It's all the rage. It would appear, indeed, uh, well, indeed, they've declared a public health emergency uh, over it, uh, despite the rather obvious fact that, uh, despite their best endeavours, they only managed to locate a literal handful of those afflicted by it, and that's amongst the 7,000 million inhabitants on this planet. Now, how extraordinary is that? The WHO ignores the very real data in the West, signalling hundreds of thousands of unexplained excess deaths, uh, but they ignore that, but they did manage to track down a man of possible musical inclinations in Germany uh, whose nose had fallen off. And on a national level, England has an outfit called the UK Health Security Agency, previously known as Public Health England. And take a peek at the witless drivel on their website, which is sort of hilarious in a rather chilling fa uh, fashion. And for most of July... They never once mentioned the uh, extra 2,000 deaths a week, and they concentrated instead on the terrifying notion that England was finally experiencing some sunshine uh, for more than one day in a row, and that we might all die as a result unless we took their expert advice about slathering on sun cream and drinking plenty of water. But I do the UK Health Security Agency a disservice. They didn't just talk about the weather in July. They also told us that the best thing we could possibly do to our, for our health uh, was to have another one of those lovely Pfizer cocktails injected into us ASAP in order that we might live to see another Christmas. Now, all of this... It's not just England, you know, beset by this criminal lunacy. It's happening everywhere in the West. 
hysteria over the endless deaths in 2020 has been replaced by nothing to see here, Governor, in 2022. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, even, even when the recent death rise is so much higher than June, July and August in 2020. Why do you think this might be? Well, we all know the answer to that, but, uh, but we can no longer talk about it due to BlackRock and Vanguard owning the majority shareholding of all the big tech companies. But nonetheless, even if we cannot call uh, everything to do with COVID-19 and COVID-19 vaccines the crime of the century, uh, can we suggest that the second greatest crime of the century is the refusal of the public health agencies to recognise the present pandemic of excess deaths, uh, let alone to actually question just what is causing them?